Some folks don't understand why I'm so excited. They don't understand why I made so much effort in making all these videos. They don't understand why I kept persevering. I received a lot of attacks while having this YouTube ministry. I was even aware it was a ministry back then. But now, it's almost the 20th of February 2019. I'm six years further than, than the first video I uploaded on this channel. And look at the impact this channel had. I can't even see personally how far the impact of this channel goes. I had no intention of having a YouTube ministry. It didn't even came up in my mind. It didn't. I just want to make a few videos explaining things about the spirit world and that would be it. But it ended up being a channel with around 3,300 videos, reaching hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. That wasn't my plan. But that's why I'm telling you, not everything has to be planned. You just need to go with the flow of the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you one thing. When you are truly anointed, there will be a fight, especially in the beginning. Because the enemy sees your anointing long before you do. Those that are in the negative, those that are sold out to the devil, they can see your potential far way before you even think you have potential. So when you are truly anointed, there will be a big fight. But because you are anointed, you persevere, you endure and you overcome. And most of the time you're not aware that you're breaking through until after the fact that you've broken through. I went through many big breakthroughs and I'll keep going through breakthroughs. So that's how it is when you're truly anointed. In witchcraft, however, you made your effort and the results come quickly. And often it goes very smooth. But down the line, it cancels its, itself out in very tragic and traumatic ways. That's how it goes with witchcraft. But you know what? When you are truly anointed, you have something far better than witchcraft. Those paranormal compensations can't even stand besides what you have in Christ. For those that are anointed, that are annoyed with my excitement, you'll get more annoyed. Annoyed uh, uh, because you will get more annoyed by by my influence. And you become more frustrated. And for those who want to lose it and freak out, you'll freak out a lot. Because someone on the earth must praise the Most High and give Him the glory that's due unto Him. I'm not the only one doing it. I'm glad about it. However, someone needs to do it. Someone needs to teach the Word. Someone needs to point out the bigger picture. Someone needs to act out in the daily lives the power of Christ and show what I'm doing it are you doing it too do it someone needs to do it someone needs to give God the honor that's due unto him will you do it I don't care how many millions out there are in the negative and willing whatever they will they will will whatever they will onto their own destruction and then could be cast in the lake of fire. That's what's going to happen to them. How many will be there that will give God the glory and so on to Him? How many will walk in true natural freedom? I'm not talking in psychopathic looseness, where you just will it every will. This is what the world is doing. I'm about true natural autonomy. How many will walk in it and give God the glory and so on to Him? Will you agree with Christ?